All right, let's go back here and play this. That was pretty cool. There's some really cool changes in terms of stuff like this, where you got your, um, what's it called? Staring contest going on there. Yeah, it's cool. I think overall, it's sometimes just a bit fast and a bit flat footed and every now and then just, just a bit too stiff. Look at the left one first. Like even on something like this, there's something where it feels like the rotation in Y is pretty exaggerated with his arms. Where I would probably reduce that just a bit. It feels like it's such a big move. And at the same time, especially through here, there are a couple of things that happen. I don't feel like there's enough in the chest up and down. And I know they're moving sideways and it's pretty fast. But there's something that starts to feel very isolated in terms of it's just going to be a rotation in Y. There's a lot of shoulder stuff, which is cool. But then you have moments like this here where the head turning in Y here feels overall very dislocated. Where I, f I see the head turning, but I don't see an influence on the chest. It just feels very separate. The rotation is also very flat. And it's, it's a bit strange how vertical that head is. You know, if you have something where this is your... There's all the weight in here. So you imagine maybe that shoulder would be higher here. You have more of a lean. I'm exaggerating here. But because of that, you might have a head that compensates this way. With maybe like a slight look over to the aggressor. So there's something that when you have a change in your chest orientation that it does, <coughs> excuse me, it does affect the head. And right now I see just a lot of flat wire rotations in the head. They feel a bit separate from the chest. And if you look at the chest area here, I see a lot of wiggling back and forth, which again is probably from all the, the big wire rotation in the chest. So I'll probably reduce that, bring a bit more up and down in the chest rotations, but also a bit of translations there. And then you can see on something like this here, on the back leg side, I don't feel a change in like a weight shift adjustment and up and down in rotation there. So there's some, I think overall it's getting better. It just has a slight feel of the body mechanics need to be stronger in terms of if I move something, it's going to affect something else. Or something like this where you have arms that kind of come back in a twin fashion, kind of come up at the same time. And then the body goes back, stops, and then up. A, very straight, and it feels like two very separate moves. Here's move one, or A, going back, and then there's move B, going up. And then once you're up, then you got chest rotation this way with arms going up at the same time moving so just you know offsets and stuff like this and then you got mechanics things where if the body's up like this and then you start lifting the leg so all the way it's going to be on here and it's kind of shifting with the forward tilt there this makes no sense for the root to go this way would only work if this guy is holding on to him, pulling this way. But then it would be really a lead on the chest area. If you want your root to move this way, that leg needs to be planted this way so that this leg can push in these directions for the root to go over there. So there's some stuff like that that feel a bit weird. Or if you look at the timing and spacing of it, how slow it starts and then suddenly accelerates, Again, that acceleration comes out of nowhere. It's just it's mechanics-wise and body mechanics-wise and physics-wise not quite there. Like it doesn't make quite sense. You're almost at a point where if this is up in the air, it's almost in a sitting uh, off-balance position. So stuff like that. And then as you continue on, you have to be careful with feet just kind of lifting up almost in a horizontal fashion. It's a little bit of a rotation there. But you want to look at what kind of step back is this? Is it going to do a foot roll of an adjustment back? Or is it kind of a, because of off balance, body going back, is the is the foot going up this way? So toe up first, 
because of a weight shift reaction to it. Here you probably want to do a foot roll so that your kill is just not popping. You get a bit of a adjustment so that the uh, the tibia, what's it called? The shin. The shin is not connecting so much with that foot there. So it's stuff like that that I'm reacting to. But I do like stuff like this where when this one's done, careful, they're, they are kind of close there. And I think at this point you'd almost have like a bit of a yell or bite almost. But I like that once this guy goes down and again you're it's such a big drop here you would have bigger impact and overlap on the head and impact on the chest there boom and it probably was this the only one carrying all the weight a bit more offset in the chest this way like this side pushes up but anyway going back to what i said before i like that it comes down and then the head looks up because it wants to keep looking at this guy. That's the type of character stuff that I really like. It's a small detail, but it feels like they're more connected. I like that little standoff there. This little step hop feels very light for a creature like this and almost becomes human. I'm not sure. I'm sure a creature one day has that some done that somewhere, but there's just something about like, watch out how quickly this body moves back. And then we're getting into off-balance off territory. But he's off-balance for too long. You would have to bring that leg back a bit sooner to give you that balance there. That is really fast there. This big move where suddenly it goes down. But you might argue, well, that's him pushing him down here. That's fine. But then once you're here, this is a really fast rotation and translation back but the main problem with that is that it's pretend it might even do this then you go and stop right so you got your spacing here let's bring me back some onion whoa not this one some onions getting there and you can see what the back is doing then you get to this and look at that we're kind of in the same spot and actually you you reverse if you look at your spine it starts to straighten out. So what the problem here is that you have such a big move back. And then it stops here. That on this frame it would still be back. And it would be falling over. It needs to take a couple steps back to rebalance itself. So if I watch this in real time. Yeah, it feels like it's a too fast of a move. Given all this weight. And too fast of a stop. Where this would work if there was a, a piece of rock. Boom. And it would hit that. But overall, I think the moves are cool. I think the the quote-unquote acting is great. It'll, that stuff is really cool. I'm a big fan of that. And you probably want to go either extend this by a couple of frames. Or come up with the head a bit sooner. I do like that. It comes back up to look at it. But it's almost like you were starting that move. I want to look at this guy, but we don't quite get there. It's like you're introducing a new idea, but we don't really finish it. And then the, sh the, the shot is done here, or the cuts off. That's a bit slow as well, though. You might go a bit faster on your on your up. And then careful, because, because the push off is this way and this is moving, it takes away from the weight. So either you move this with a little bit of a lift, and that means that all the weight is on here, which you will compress then into flattening the probably the, the knuckles there, flattening and have a bit of a compression there, which then if all the weight's here, it's going to rotate the chest over this way. This will dip and this goes up. Or you don't move this one. Yeah, so either, either you lift this up for a sidestep, you got to have a weight adjustment and all the weight's on here and the change in the chest, or you don't move this, and that means that both of them are pushing up the body. So you have to look at stuff like this. Again, this is a bit flat there. Probably a foot roll would be in order. So keep going. I think these are great changes. Just a, a big pass on mechanics, weight adjustments, you know, weight shifts, and the timing, and all that good stuff. But I'm going to leave this right there because I think this is super cool. <laughs> all right. Thank you. All right, 
there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.